from Indiana's news leader. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Topping the healthy tonight, we meet the little namesake of an Indiana company. This company now aims to change brain surgery all across the globe. Nick Pistola sports a big personality enjoying jolly days during a visit to the Indianapolis Children's Museum. He is six years old and will always be a world first. His mother remembers the journey that made global headlines starting when Nico was just four months old. There was like 30 some medical professionals that came into the room so I knew something was wrong never thinking it was a brain tumor. The benign growth was deep in Nico's brain, causing laughing seizures. The laughter so prevalent, his family called him Captain Giggles. We didn't know anything that giggle was something more sinister than just a regular giggle, and it turns out that those were the seizures that were tearing him up inside for 18 hours a day. From birth, his mother Rhonda, a pediatric nurse, knew something was wrong. Nico had a persistent rash on his face. At times, his eyes seemed to bug into a blank stare. He ate nonstop. He wasn't developing because he was just burning so many calories. He couldn't eat enough. They had to put him on feeding tubes and all that, and he was still not growing. A renowned neurologist in Phoenix lamented the family would have to wait for a fix. And, and Dr. Riquet couldn't do the procedure because he wasn't big enough. His head wouldn't even fit in the clamp that he needed to hold him steady. Without the tools for early intervention, it was unlikely Nico would develop normally, have a normal IQ. Because we were told initially he couldn't have the surgery until he was like three years old. But within months, doctors proposed testing a new technology, a minimally invasive tiny instrument that could get to tumors with less risk. Nico's parents consented, traveling by plane from their home in Pennsylvania to Arizona. As long as he's mentally intact, that's all that matters. And that's what we told Dr. Riquet back in the day. You know, just give us the same kid that we're handing over to you, minus the tumor. And now, five years later, you'd have to look hard for a sign of Nico's story. A scar. Where is it? Right here. Can you feel it? No. Does it hurt? No. Not at all? This device allowed the surgeons to get in, touch his tumor, and remove it. An Indiana company formed just two years ago developed that technology, named the corporation after Nico, and brought the Nico Myria device to market in the third quarter of this year. In endoscopic neurosurgery, it's huge. It's the biggest breakthrough in years. Clarion Health recently invested in the device. Riley is the first children's hospital in the country to have one. I did a surgery last, uh, or a couple of weeks ago, that just took me 25 minutes that would have taken me two hours. The key Dr. Michael Turner says is the small size. This is Turner's view as he uses the instrument to remove a waxy tumor deep in the brain. And I can therefore use that NICO instrument through that one millimeter channel and actually have an instrument that sucks and bites for me, which I never had before. I never had anything that could do that. The advancement years in the making, with little Nico still reassuring proof of what's possible. The end result is what we were hoping for and more. <laughs> oh, he's such a little personality, and he did give me my sunglasses back. Well, seven Rose Holman students in Terre Haute worked on the initial design. The key really is this small knife that works without heat to cut, remove, and store tissue for lab work. As for little Nico, what a guy. His seizure stopped right after the surgery. He is smart, and he is a personality plus kindergartner. Back to you, Scott. What a great story, Ann. Thank you. New and next for you.